Everyone should be able to vote, okay? Uh, because I voted literally for, I vote all the time. All my friends vote. Like when E! Entertainment puts out those things like voting for like, should the Kardashians come back or the Housewives? I voted. I voted like 25 times on that and I'm a woman. That just proves that women vote and we are supposed to be able to vote. I am literally trying to get a job on Fox. Okay, Fox is looking at me, Newsmax is looking at me and that's why I'm here. And Madison, I, in a second, I'm gonna have you go get Brian because this this was not what we agreed to. Okay, I don't know why he is sitting here trying to make me look like a feminist. I am not a damn feminist. I cooked turkey dinner. I live streamed it. Didn't you watch? Hello, America, FBI and CIA agents and fellow cult members. Welcome to Culture Club USA. I'm DeBrava. Today's riddle is... When traditional blondes sing traditional songs, it's harder to recognize their traditional cons. And when traditional cons side with feminist wrongs, they bend to the weak and turn blind to their wrongs. Because the truth is in the light and lies hide in the dawn. Deception favors the weak as candor rides with the strong. Okay, on tonight's episode of Feminist Trad Cons on Trial, we are going to analyze a debate between fake trad con and right-wing conservative pundit Millie Weaver as she battles with a real trad con, Andrew Wilson, a.k.a. The Crucible. Should Millie Weaver be prosecuted for trad con malpractice? Oh, what a tangled web we weave when at first we practice to deceive. Let's get into it. Basically, Protestantism brought you feminism. But you how do you think they the convince the general male population that <laughs> exactly. it should happen? So you don't think we should vote? House. <laughs> That's your view? Yeah. Oh, but, wow. I think women yeah. should be... Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Millie Weaver, um, she's pretty famous in this space. And first of all, she's the one with the blonde hair and blue top on. So she's very well known in this space. Um, she's considered a traditional conservative. She got her start working for Alex Jones on Infowars and grew to be a documentarian. Um, she has her own company. She's been invited to the White House by President Trump. She's interviewed people like Rudy Giuliani and so on, okay? So let's dive in. Oh, but I'm not a feminist. Why, yeah, but how, Why my, do you think they should be able to vote? How, Why shouldn't I be able to vote? Well, that's, that's not my question. That's answering my question with a question. No, yeah, but well, that, that is. Do you think I should have to pay taxes? I think I should. Well, so right. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't so get start, to your, So let's start over. Millie, we didn't let's get to your taxes. Hang on, let's start over. Should I pay taxes? Your position is you should be able to vote. Yes, absolutely. Okay, why should you be able to vote? So let me just. Let me just reel this in just a bit because it's already in progress, obviously. Now, the question here is, should women be able to vote? Now, for those of you that are familiar with my content, you know my stance on this. I personally believe that women should not be able to vote. And I've stated this time and time again, because women do not fight or put their lives on the line for this country to preserve our rights here in America, and they don't build anything. So therefore, I don't think that they should be in a position to make decisions that have anything to do with keeping our rights, which means fighting in the war, risking your life, and building anything. They don't do anything. So I don't think you should be able to vote. That's just my take. I digress. I'm an American citizen and I pay taxes. Okay, so let's assume for a second, as you know, most people in America do not pay taxes. Do you think they should be able to vote? Well, if you, the problem with your reasoning is we have a law that says you can't have taxation without representation. Yeah, so, so it therefore, doesn't, the law doesn't say if that. If you're because a tax paying American, and that's why they debate this in D.C. all the that's time. That's insane. D.C. residents are paying taxes not, and they don't listen, have proper representation. This, this is, first of all, this is a goal. Oh, Millie, 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 Millie. Okay. You are already starting in a very feminist rhetoric right now. There's also a law that says that migrants can't cross the border, but they're doing it, aren't they? <laughs> and, and what does paying taxes have to do with the right to vote? Can someone explain this to me? I'm sure Andrew is about to. 
goalpost move. I'm not going to let you get away with it. We're going to move right back, and then I'm going to address that second point after we move right back and destroy your first point. The first point, You're not gonna there are anything. people. Yes, I will watch. No, you won't. There are the, the first point are <laughs> the first. Did you just catch all of that? <laughs> first of all, uh, the crucible is not the one, and. That was such fire that just came out of his mouth. He's saying that first I'm going to destroy your first point and then I'll go back and destroy it. I mean, and she's like, you're not going to destroy anything. Look at, look at Brian Atlas. I've never seen him like this. Look, he's like a kid in the candy store. I mean, he looks like he's playing for the other team right here. He's so happy. He must not like Millie. <laughs> I digress point are the first the the first point is there are people right now who pay no taxes right what sure. about should they be able to vote probably not so, okay so yes. you would Ooh, remember what she just said probably not so she's saying that if there are he's saying there are people that do not pay taxes right should they be able to vote and she said probably not just keep track of that so, okay, so yes. you would agree that those they people should still be able so to you, <laughs> not arguing with you yet. Let's do split. So we should be able. <laughs> so, so then, as we look at this, then we should be able to see that you want for at least some people to not be able to vote, right? Well, I'm saying that Americans have the right to vote. That's oh, what it okay. Says. So then, should I'm asking you an ought? But she just said that non-tax-paying citizens should not be able to vote. She said probably not. Probably not, meaning no, they should not probably be able to vote if they don't pay taxes. So which is it, Millie? <laughs> is it because you're American a citizen or, or is it because you pay taxes? Make your mind up. Or do you not even know? You an ought, not an is. I'm not asking you what is true. I'm asking you what ought about, to be true. Let me ask you a question. You can should ask me a question at the end. Here we go. This is this is the feminist way. I, I know I keep stopping this, but this is ridiculous. This is what feminists do. They answer questions with questions. Okay. Answer questions with questions. He just asked her a question, and she's like, let me ask you a question. So typical. Taxes. Answer my wait, question. Wait, 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 we got taxes. We missed, we missed. I just want to know why taxes taxes shouldn't so. be able to vote. Wait. Like, are we that emotional? Wait. So anyway, so <laughs> Should back. Should we even pay taxes? Calm down. Relax. You calm down. One, so one step, one step at a time. Yeah, telling you to calm down is me being emotional. So, yeah, you are. You seem anyway, to be getting a little frustrated. Yeah, I don't know. You seem to be kind of a dumbass. You want to answer my oh, questions. Okay. So oh, an ought yes. from an is. hominem attacks. Do you know, do you know what an ought in an is is? Is claim, is true, ought should happen mm -hmm. should everybody be able to vote no. what is with the pregnant pauses with this girl <laughs> this girl is supposed to be a traditional conservative okay according to everybody including herself she is a conservative like hello you can't answer a question what is she doing these pauses are ridiculous she should be right on top of this this is easy breezy beautiful cover girl stuff this is conservative talk how do you not know the answer Unless you're playing for the other team, which is the feminists. Who's everybody? Should Americans be able to yes. vote? I don't think okay. illegal immigrants should be able don't to vote. Don't be pedantic. Should all Americans be able to vote? Are all Americans required to pay taxes? Yes. Work? Yes, yes. But do all Americans pay taxes? And guess what happens to those who aren't paying taxes? They nope. Here we go. Do all Americans pay taxes? Did he not just ask her a question? And she's like, and guess what happens when all the guys, you know what? Guess what? Guess what? You don't know anything about me. Okay. And I am just like, I'm really about to grill you, Andrew, because I literally was at the White House and I'm a documentarian. I am a field reporter. I am brilliant and I am respected. So keep pushing me and I'm going to push back. That's her right now. Because they Nothing. get in trouble with the IRS. No, they don't. Most people don't well, pay anything into the tax system. They're not a net positive tax system. Well, if what they're not making an about? income, then they don't have to No, they to make an income. File. No, if they're not making an income, they don't have to <laughs> Listen, file. No, and therefore, there are people who make more back from they the government on an earned income child credit than okay. they pay into the government. Okay, and that's Should those people issue. be able to vote? You're still not convincing me why women I'm not trying to, to convince you. I'm asking you a question. Should those people be able to vote? Did you see what she just did there? She's like, you're still not convincing me why women shouldn't be able to vote. He's not convincing you. He's asking you why you don't think that women should have no rights to vote. He's asking you that. He's saying he does not believe that women should have the right to vote. What? I mean, this is craziness. But 
should American <laughs> citizens be able to vote? Yes. Should, well, then your argument that just because they pay taxes doesn't make any sense. Well, I'm because, saying that's one of the reasons um, let me why finish, I should and then be able I'll let you vote. finish. I, I promise. Taxes. Let me finish, and, and I'll let you finish. And we have a law that says relax, we have lady. To have let me finish my point. I'll let you finish your point. So, if that is true, then your original argument of hey, wait a second. Uh, people who pay taxes because they pay taxes they should be able to vote but we've just established many Americans do not pay taxes and you still think they ought to vote so your first argument's moot now let's move to the second one no it's not mute burned and then she's like no it's not because whatever I say goes okay literally you don't know who I am I worked on Infowars okay I just like you should know that you should know that I came from Alex Jones. I came through Alex Jones. Yeah, he was feeding me everything through an inner earpiece while I was on the ground, but that's not the point. The point is, is that I am Millie Weaver and whatever I say is fact. Okay, even if I go back and forth. Go, it, um, then explain it to me again. I have a question. Explain to me why women should be able to vote. I still haven't heard you explain okay, anything. Okay, I'll get. Why you I'll, I'll get to it. Taxation I'll get. I, I promise you, I'll answer because your question. Because we have a law after we in the United years. States that says we have to have. There's there's Laws a law are that changeable. says no taxation without representation. I'm saying women should be able to vote. I know, and I'm asking you why. Other than I'm saying women have a right to vote because we're American citizens. Mm-hmm. We're taxpayers. That is true. Why we're property ought, owners. We have a stake <laughs> in the interests of the country. Should only property we should be have able, representation? Okay, so should only property vote or property owners be able to vote? Um, Everyone can, should be able to vote. Uh, what so if we say that it's a human again, right to be able to vote? Then uh, why cannot yeah, women? Uh, prob- vote? Bimbo alert! <laughs> Bimbo alert! <laughs> Everyone should be able to vote, okay? Uh, because I voted literally for. I vote all the time. All my friends vote. Like when E Entertainment puts out those things, like voting for like should the Kardashians come back or the Housewives. I voted. I voted like twenty five times on that, and I'm a woman. That just proves that women vote, and we are supposed to be able to vote, okay? Ask Andy Cohen. He'll tell you. Uh, the problem, stop arguing with the, her and just tell us problem, why you don't like women. No, I'm going gonna, gonna to finish my argument over here. So anyway, okay. you gave me your reasoning first. So I'm just going through your line no, we, of reasoning. We spoke about one thing. Mm-hmm. I have many reasons why I believe this, and you're honing now, in on Now, I one will thing. give you my reasoning, and we can see if there's any flaw in my argumentation. Men are the enforcers of rights. And because they're in the enforcers of rights, they deserve to have all the privileges that comes with enforcement. Women are not the enforcement of rights, including for other women. Only men can enforce the rights of women. Therefore, only men should be able to have the stake and the claim to vote. Period. How can only men enforce the rights? Ah, of well, I'm glad that you asked. You have rights, right? Yes, I do. Okay. What is a right? A, a right is something that basically we've defined out through uh, a bill of rights or a constitution. Something the government that's can't. A, something the government a, can't do to yeah. you. It's an entitlement right. absent a duty. Right. Uh, is that a right? Well, what do you mean? Does she know anything? Does she know anything? She still she doesn't even realize that men enforce the laws. Okay, they gave us the rights. They created the laws, and yes, men allow us all the rights we have. Now, as a conservative in a conservative space, come on, Millie, you know this. You know this. But you're not a conservative because you're a feminist. That's why. What do you mean by absent of duty? There's no duty with your rights. We're given, we we have God-given inherent rights in America. Okay. Right? And that's where we enshrine <laughs> our rights from is the rights that God gave us. So, so... Listen, Andrew, we have God-given rights here in America, and the Kardashian Bible says it, okay? I'm a conservative. Don't sit here telling me how we got our rights. Our rights came from God. Bruce Jenner said it. I believe it. That's what the Kardashian Bible says, and that's what I go by. You're really, like, pushing your luck with me. I am, like, the queen B in the conservative space. I'm a documentarian. I came from Alex Jones Infowars. Okay, uh, stop testing me. Because in a second, I am literally going to call Steve Bannon and have you banned from everything. Okay, like seriously. Thing you say, only men can be enforcers of law. Yeah. There are women can rights. actually no, have I didn't a say gun, laws. I said and they rights. can enforce rights. Mm-hmm. They can protect rights with guns okay. as well because guns are equalizers. So but let me explain this the best way. Can, let me explain this the best way I possibly can. They give so children you guns in some countries. Yeah, yeah. Let me to explain fight this the best wars. way that I possibly okay, can. Okay, so women can also yeah, no, you're just have prattling. guns. You just prattling. It's not prattling. I thought you wanted the explanation. Do you want me to give it to you or not? So guns you, rights or women's I'll rights? I'll give you. I'll give you the explanation. Guns rights or women's rights? 
Even Madison is laughing at her over here and making weird faces. But I mean, (laughs) Madison even laughed. Look at this. When Madison is laughing at you, you're a bimbo. <laughs> Thanks, you're just prattling. It's not prattling. I thought you wanted the explanation. Do you want me to give it to you or not? So Guns, give, rights, or women's I'll rights? Give you, I'll give you the explanation instead of your incessant prattle. So here's the, actual, here's the actual explanation. Men are the enforcers of rights. Rights don't exist. They don't exist. You can't taste them. You can't touch them. You can't see them. They're a social construction. No, men did not create the rights. God did. <laughs> okay, they, he did. What, yes. what rights did God give? Men did not create the rights. God did. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. God must have created uh, this face for Madison, too. <laughs> what is she doing? She's like sticking out her tongue. She's like, maybe she just can't. She's like, oh, I caught something from Lily. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. Enough with the Madison talk. Hey, they, he did. What yes. what rights did God give you? God gave me the right to, to exist. He gave me free will. Did you have a right to exist? Yeah. Oh, really? So you couldn't just wink out of existence tomorrow? God created me. What does that have to do with a right? I have the right to free will. You have a, right? you have a right to literally nothing except what Freedom other people allow you to have. have All of your rights can rights. be a... Pro- That's what it literally <laughs> says in our Constitution. I know what it says. No, you have the right to literally nothing. He's right. Except one word. Men. Men. Not other people allowed you to have. Men. Other men allow you to have the rights. What it says, but that doesn't mean it's true. Oh, so you don't believe in the Constitution? I don't believe that rights are real. Okay, so you don't believe in the Constitution? I don't believe that so rights are real. So then go to a different country. Then. I didn't say. What does that have to do with anything? Even you if I said, okay, I'll go to another country. Now rights are suddenly real. That makes so no sense. So why even talk about rights if because you don't even believe that's in the, the Constitution? That's the core of what we're talking about, the right to vote. Last I checked, right? You don't even t- care about rights because you don't Can believe I, in the Constitution. I don't believe in rights. Can I ask you a question? I believe, I believe the Constitution right. is real. Do you think but that doesn't mean I believe that rights are not a social right construction. Our rights is social construction. So how do you think the Constitution you is You keep right? asking me questions, even though I've answered all of them. Are you going to answer one of mine? Are rights a social construction? I believe in the Constitution. I, I know. Believe I believe. Americans have the right oh, to vote. I believe. That's not, are, they, are they real or not? Now she believes that Americans have the right to vote because she believes in the Constitution. Earlier, she believed that only taxpaying American citizens have the right to vote. Which is it? This is feminist rhetoric. It's talking in circles, okay? It's circle jerking a space, making a mess out of a manosphere or red pill or trad con, real trad con space. This is why you can't let these women on these platforms. She's, she's first of all, I don't, she's not a conservative. That's clear. She's sitting here arguing all feminist points. And you know what's funny? This is just, this just, just this is very important. This girl has never been tested on her beliefs, right? Working for Alex Jones, being invited to the White House, being a faux documentarian, all this nonsense, right? How are you a reporter and you don't know basic things, number one? And 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 no one has ever tested her. Now she's being tested and we're seeing what she actually really is, which is a feminist. Not. Um, is sir, what real? Uh, rights. Sir, can or I? are they a social construct? <laughs> no, I <laughs> think our rights are God given. See, in what my right eyes, is God let given? Me, can let I, me explain can something I to you. Can I ask a clarifying day, question? Hold on. Uh-huh. Really quick, really quick. Let me explain something to you. <laughs> okay. No, really quick, really quick. Let me just explain something to Alex. Again, I interviewed Giuliani and I eat at Chick fil A. Okay. Chick fil A is closed on Sunday, which explains why I have to cook Thanksgiving dinner. For my children every Sunday. I mean, I, that makes me a tradcon, which makes me an expert on rights and women's voting. Okay. Like, I don't understand what you were talking about. I am chosen. I am a chosen one. Okay. Right now, you're really, really like making me question my thought process on why I came here because I am literally trying to get a job on Fox. Okay. Fox is looking at me. Newsmax is looking at me. And that's why I'm here. And Madison, in a second, I'm going to have you go get Brian because this this was not what we agreed to. Okay, I don't know why he is sitting here trying to make me look like a feminist. I am not a damn feminist. I cooked turkey dinner. I live streamed it. Didn't you watch? Where did the monarchs used to derive their right from? 
Oh, well, they God. Re- their right to the, rule, the yes. The monarchs were sovereigns, and they believed that they had the direct lineage oh. from King David, and therefore they had been given the right uh-huh. of God to uh-huh. rule over their people. Oh, monarchs when we had Yes, because okay. they believed they had been given the right from God to rule over the people. When and we how had did they the enforce that right to on, rule? Hold on, don't interrupt. When we had the Declaration <laughs> of Independence, mm-hmm. right, we had 70, 1776. That was a group of American founding fathers coming together and recognizing that they, in fact, were all given God-given rights. And it mm-hmm. wasn't just the sovereign, that we were all sovereign. Yeah, this is all, and that we were all given God-given all given John rights. John Locke. Uh, first of all, Millie, in 1776, when those men, by the way, came and wrote that thing, okay? Women were not allowed to vote. So what are you talking about? Did God come down and tell them that too? You idiot. You bimbo. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Nonsense. Listen. It's not John we'll back Mark it off. Locke. We'll back this it up. Yes, it is. It's enlightenment. The yes, the enlightenment principles. The middle class. The enlight- yeah, it founded the American principles, and guess what? Women couldn't vote. Women couldn't vote. Done. You're talking about 1776? Know your facts. This is, she's a feminist. Rhetoric, talking points, that's all it is. She's being tested. Now she's exposed. Enlightenment principles are what founded this. Okay. Okay. Well, no, it didn't. But anyway, the enlightenment principles that you're talking about (laughs) right now, they still acknowledge that rights are social constructs. They have to be. They're not. When you talk about when you talk about a god ideology, if if your rights can be stripped on you, which how you know the ideology I'm talking about is true. If you can, they can't be real if they can be taken from you. You Have a right to nothing. How is this not more relative? What do you mean? (laughs) More relative? What do you mean by only men can enforce rights? If you can convince people that they don't have any rights and it's all social construct mm-hmm. you can strip them from them you can vin- no. convince them it that they don't have rights yes. but <laughs> you, if, if people know that they have god given uh-huh. rights uh-huh. and that their rights come from god then they can then act they, as though they're real and then they can enforce that they are real god they're did not, not give us a right to vote they're made unfortunately up. <laughs> our rights are real they're, they're social <laughs> the bimbo with the dark hair actually said something that made sense god did not give us the right to vote unfortunately thank you <laughs> hello this is just so sad. <laughs> Our rights are real. They're, they're socially constructed. Can you, okay, point it's to like, me, point out a right uh, for me real So quick. how do you call it? Hey, is there a right Christian? over there? What about over there? It, is there a right down there? Is there a right? I don't see any. Where are they? Do you not believe in the authority of God? Yes, of course. God is an existing objective okay, being. Okay, so what did God tell Israel? <laughs> about which thing? Okay, did he not give him authority? Did he not give the, the line of David yes, authority? You can did say, he not give his but, children but authority? Who enforced, he did. who enforced the authority of kings? King. I'll tell you who enforced it, okay? You really want to test me here? I'm going to tell you who enforced it. God gives the rights because it, I was an altar girl in my church and I was given that right by God because God came down and told the female deacon that I was to be the chosen one, which is how I got to Alex Jones, which is how I got on InfoWars, which is how I got to the president, the White House, Giuliani and everything else. Okay, clearly, you know, Clearly, you just do not know anything about me. You don't know who I am. I am a genius. I am a documentarian. I am a reporter. And I do not uh, appreciate you trying to put me in a feminist realm because I'm not a feminist. Okay. I cook dinner for my children. I have children. Yeah. I, I, I ran off to shoot these documentaries and let some, you know, illegal immigrant raise my kids for a while. I mean, so what? I was in the Trump hotel for three months. And yeah, I did what I had to do to get the doc done. Okay. Which is my right because God told me to do it. And that, and that's what I'm saying. And, you know, like I said, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday and that's where I eat. So need I say anything else? Kings. Okay, so the priests apparently are given rights from Kings, God, correct? Yes, and they enforce their authority as okay, well. Okay, so how is that not a social arm. construct in your Because logic. these are objectively given from a being. The construction of your third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, twelfth amendments. All of them are social constructs. They don't exist in tangible reality. If they do, point one out. Show me. Show me your right to vote. Where is it? Absent your mind. Show it to the, me. The one for quartering. You can Show say me. that with anything. Yeah, no, well, physical. you can say about We're anything that is a <laughs> social We're construct. We're talking about the spirit. So, of course, you're not going to be able to have something Nova physical when we're talking about dollars. the spiritual. That oh, blonde geez. is making a really good argument as to why women shouldn't <laughs> No vote. shit. Oh, but anyway, oh, wow. back to this. <laughs> That's hysterical. That's super chat. He said, this woman is making a really good argument on why women should not be able to vote. And I have to say, I must agree. <laughs>
Can I ask a Back to this. Question? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let us finish the argument. We're almost done. I know. Just, we have No, you guys want to bunch of guys like him. Absent the mind where your rights are. Don't believe in the constitution. Are. I just kind of okay. like uh, the, 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 yeah, the, 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 the rights aren't a social construct. Can you point to one outside your mind? The quarter- Can you point to a right outside your Can mind? You point to the spirit Don't ask me a question. Answer my question. Can you point to a right you outside your mind? Physically define the spirit. You're, that's another Can you question. Can physically define consciousness? Stop asking the question. Answer it. No, because no, you're not. You- no, I'm not going to answer it because you know why? I'll tell you why. I was arrested by the deep state. Okay, an anti far right cell. Okay, in the deep state, arrested me. Okay. My followers gave me $170,000 because of it to help take care of my legal bills. Yeah, it ended up being about an altercation with my mother and a cell phone, but that is really not the point. And Alex Jones called me and Steve Bannon and they said it was good for the space. So don't make me make a phone call and end the whatever podcast altogether. You will have no viewers. Madison, go get Brian right now. He is not supposed to be asking me these questions. I am not gonna sit here and do this. Patrick but David. Has is 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 in a bidding war right now with Newsmax about me being in the vault because he says I have a voice for radio and I am better than Megyn Kelly. So why are you doing this? I am. You are not. You are not helping my situation. I, I, I'm telling you right now. You can't. No, you can't answer no, it. No, because you, you're not you the imbecile. one driving Where is a right absent your brain? Where but, is it? Okay, but define the consciousness. Why, why can women not vote <laughs> See, if they're not the funny being thing here is, I want to know that. No, the funny thing here is this is what's Remember, debated oh when, when people are, when scientists are talking about AI, they're mm-hmm. debating consciousness. And th- there are so many philosophers uh-huh. and people that debate consciousness all the time. Yeah. So you're asking me to define the spiritual and, the, and consciousness and put it into a physical state, which you know is impossible so you're you're going with a false argument consciousness or rights to try to prove a point that you're not even touching consciousness or rights being conscious means that you have your rights. Your spirit and your soul. Do people in Somalia you who are conscious have rights? <laughs> so you don't Where are rights spirit. absent your mind? Why can't women vote? <laughs> Why can't Where is your right to vote <laughs> absent <laughs> your mind? Where is your argument Stop asking me a question mind. and answer one. Where is your argument absent your mind? I'll tell you what, I'll answer <laughs> any fucking question you want after you answer this one. Where is Where? your argument Where? outside of your subconscious? My, outside okay, of your all of my arguments are based in the epistemological. The epistemology <laughs> and the ontology that I have comes directly from God and divine command. Really? This answers, yes, and yours too. And I said, and my, I, said I believe my rights are God-given. That's so great. Why are you, why and are that's yours what and we're mine talking right? about. Now, I just answered your question. Now, answer mine. Where is this right to vote absent your brain? Where's your argument? Yeah, I just, <laughs> just, just won't answer can it, I, no matter what. Question? Wait, can you answer his question, though? Just, no, she just can't. She knows. She already knows. My- Thank you, Brian. Can she answer a question? No, because she's a feminist. That's what they do. They answer questions with questions. And, you know, Brian, I'm really, like, going to have a real problem with you. I I told him that I streamed myself making Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, does he not know that I made Shadowgate? Do you understand what Shadowgate is? Shadowgate is, like, the biggest documentary of all time. Okay, forget about Icarus or any of these nonsensical things. I actually created Shadowgate. I am the most brilliant documentarian in the world. Why are you allowing him to talk like this to me? I will end this podcast, Brian. You will have absolutely nothing because I will call the CIA and all my people and you will absolutely have no views. No one cares about the whatever podcast. They are literally just watching because I am sitting here, Brian, because people have been waiting for me to emerge on the scene again. And you are really making a mess out of my deal that is being negotiated right now. Patrick McDavid is in a bidding war with himself about me being in the vault. Okay, I'm not really happy right now. It's a my fail. Rights Where's your right to brain? vote absent your brain? I've been saying this whole time, my rights are God-given. Your right to vote comes from so, God? Yes, it does. Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay. So would you, since you mentioned you're fine with, on a societal level, equality between men and women, I assume then you're also in favor of uh, women being subject to military conscription. Um, I'm not opposed to it. So you're in, well, I mean, that would, equality would demand it. Equality would demand that women are subject to military conscription. Then yes. Okay, so you're... I mean, I'm not opposed to it. He's asking her about women being forced to have to go to the military and fight for this country. So putting your lives on the line. Well, I'm not opposed to it. How are you not opposed to it? Hello? Women either are going to risk their lives 
equally as men do, or they're not. You're either for it or against it. There's not like a, a middle ground there. I mean, bimbo alert. You're in favor of it. Sure. Okay. Okay. Just checking. Just checking on the rolls. Andrew's back from his smoke break. How was the smokes? It was great. Smokes were good. Let me read the I chat. I actually don't think women should be forced to conscript. Here comes Millie. Now all of a sudden she wants uh, men to force the rights. Which is it? See, that's feminist. That's feminism. Okay. Back and forth. Nothing makes sense. It's nonsensical. You get it? It's like, it's like saying, oh, I'm, I, I'm a believer in God and I go to church, but I read the Bible naked on OnlyFans, but I'm still a conservative Christian. <laughs> None of it makes sense. Well, see, that's well, I don't think they should, I don't think they should be drafted either. Yeah, because they have that right from God to not be because drafted. Because we're women, right? Yeah, we, we, that's your right think from of, God. Tell, think of it from a logical standpoint, okay? okay. Let's think of the logic here. Women... Okay, women are who are going to birth the future generations to keep your nation going stronger, correct? Yeah. So if you send a bunch of your women out to war to die, you are going to severely impact your population numbers in your nation oh. because if you you could have fewer men essentially and and more women and you can still balance your population. Let me let me come in really quick. Well, There's okay, a big hole in this line of argument. Okay, so that's one argument. The other <laughs> argument is that because women are physically not as strong, because women menstruate, because women have carry pregnancies, um, I think that those are reasons why I, I don't think that it would be beneficial to have them in military service. I think it's probably going to be more of a, a burden on the military than it would actually be a well, help. To Typical feminist, you know, uh, the rules only apply when it appeases them. You get it? Yeah. She doesn't want to really have to go into the military because she doesn't want to risk her life as a female. She wants to lay on her back and do whatever, right? So, yeah, well, on this note, you know, no, but, but women should still be able to vote. So let's allow women to vote, to send men into battle, into warfare, and risk their lives and die for us to sit on OnlyFans, basically. See? It only, the rules only apply when it's convenient for the feminist. Well, to, to argument one, you actually, you would still create a, ga a gaps argument with this as well. Even if you send men off, you would end up with less men, which means that unless you suddenly become a Christian polygamist, you're still going to have less men than are required to impregnate the women. And I'm guessing you want one woman per one man. So even sending men off to die, you're still going to eat. You're still going to have this problem, right? Well, technically not. Technically not what? Well, like like if you were to think of, I'm not necessarily advocating for this, but if you had a, a situation where you had a severely declined population mm -hmm. in a nation and you had to increase the numbers, you could increase the numbers via um, like in vitro fertilization. You could you could do other types of, and there were people who in used vitro to do fertilization. Polyg polygamy. God not vibe with that. Highly, you know, first, <laughs> right. in well, vitro I, fertilization. I do believe in, in vitro fertilization. In vitro fertilization is highly expensive. If mm -hmm. you look at Israel, Israel has a massive IVF program. It costs their state millions upon millions upon millions, mostly our dollars yearly, and it's not very effective. It's but the, only, but the other hang on, reason, hang on, I'm almost done. It's, it's only raised it slightly. You still would end up with this gaps argument. If you're a Christian, you believe one man for one woman, you would still be decreasing the population of men, which means that unless you switch over to polygamy, you have this, the, the argument actually turns on you. If women out there were dying at the same ratio that men were, Right. And con then you would have exactly the amount of men and women that you would need to repopulate. Right. But then, the, well, not necessarily. I mean, you could take. Well, oh, not necessarily. See, here we go. See, now she 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 can't just agree with him that he's absolutely right because she's supposedly a conservative Christian. OK, but now now polygamy is OK because it it, it it works in her argument. So now it's OK. By the way, there's another soldier in here. What is going on? Now we've got a Mexican soldier behind them. I mean, what is going on with this fight? First it's Madison, then we got some other Russian soldier. Now there's a Mexican soldier in the house. Did he just run from the border? Did Brian capture him? What is going on here, Brian? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry.
manipulate, right? But then, well, not necessarily. I mean, you could technically. Well, I don't boost, know. I know no, math. You could, you could I'm, do, I'm mathing you it in my brain right now. If you had a dying population on, a, on an island, okay, mm-hmm. and you had 10 women and 10 men, if you were to try to send your people off to go, you know, fight another a group of people, yeah. you would be smart to preserve as many women as you could because you'd be able to uh, create, you know, yes, duplicate unless... your number. My God, you know, is this how conservative women act? constantly in a man's space, battling and arguing, constantly. It, can, can she agree on anything? She's There's no logic, no logic here based on anything. It's just, everything is just to be combative, to be combative. She's got to have a comeback for everything. Can you imagine living with this woman? Her poor husband, her poor children. I mean, God only knows what they're dealing with because, you know, I mean, she knows everything, okay? She's like, listen, Alex, all right? I know what I'm talking about. You are wrong, and I'll tell you why, okay? I'm gonna answer this question, and the answer is because I drink Starbucks, I wear Uggs, and I wear leggings. And you know what? I put my Uggs on one foot at a time, just like you. I put my leggings on one leg at a time, just like you. Okay. And once again, I was in the White House. So that makes me right. By the way, if you haven't seen my episode on Starbucks Uggs and Leggings, <laughs> go back and check it out. It's one of my faves. As long as you had a couple men, you could duplicate the yes, population. Yes, but then numbers. you would be endorsing polygamy, right? Right. And there were times when people. Yeah, but that's not polygamy. within the Christian ethic, is it? Polygamy. Well, some Christians, I guess. Oh, but. so are they the same ones that have female pastors? <laughs> well, no, it's actually. <laughs> they said those it, Christians? No, it's actually. <laughs> That's actually a fact, though, that there were Christian groups that, that resorted polygamy to boost their numbers. Yes. But anyway. Oh, see, there were Christians, uh, Alex, that were, you know, uh, po- polygamous. Okay, so, I, yeah, I am right again. You know what? You know what she is? Millie Weaver's a feminist, yeah. Fake dread con with blonde hair. She's lining up sims to be a fair. She'll soon find out she's not welcome there. The crucible came to Brian Atlas to destroy her. Get, get these feminists out of the manosphere. It's time for you to go because your dumb ideas will never find a home here. Feminists be gone. Millie Weaver is dumb. Okay, how about that blondie? Now she is the definition of a dumb blonde. Anyway, and it's immoral, though, okay. from the Christian ethic, okay. right? And I, do do we're agree talk- with that, no, right? We're, we're talking about, we're putting on our, our logical uh, like yes. na- nation hat right now as far as what a nation should do for a military. Uh-huh. I'm not talking about it from necessarily Christian standpoint. Yeah, but that was your argument. But the other, no, that's not what I said. There's no real point to putting a female in a combat situation with men when we know the women's most what likely going to lose. they're all just in lose. support roles? Well, support roles is another thing. So they should be drafted for support roles. Well, if if it were just something like support roles, as in being a nurse or something like phone communication lines, most then roles I would be in the okay military are not combat roles. Well, if it's non combat roles, I would say that then I would agree that you know women could be conscripted. But I would say that if there I are thought mothers, that earlier you said listen, it goes against God's ontological nature that He made God. women with. No, yes, you I did. did. Yes, she did. She did say God. She did say God. You can't, you cannot wiggle your way out of a debate when you're debating somebody like the crucible. It's just not going to happen. Okay. It's, it's absolutely not going to happen. This, this, this girl is now, every time that, you know, a point comes across that he destroys her on, she changes the narrative. That's what he says. You're moving the goalpost. It's what they constantly do. Feminists. And she is definitely a feminist. You are constantly moving the goalpost. I want to see if she can agree on one single talking point during this entire time? My guess is no. I did. didn't say God. <laughs> you did. You said their no, nature, their nature from the draft is that. part of, yes, you no, did. No, I said because women menstruate, because mm-hmm. women uh, carry pregnancies, because women's Whoa. bodies are weaker. I was talking about that being why women shouldn't be in the military. And I think that it would be more of a burden. Okay, so backing up on the basis of argument one, which is, well, if we send the men off to war and a bunch of them die, we can just do polygamy. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess, but that would be against your Christian ethic. I'm not so, necessarily on, saying that that's... I get it. So that, that one's argument. rejected, right? Obviously, you don't believe that shit, right? That would be bad. What I'm and saying is if you had equalize... people, a, a society that the population was ser- seriously hurt because... Mm-hmm. Because look, what happened in World War II? You had hundreds 
millions, hundreds of millions of people being killed. And they and solve that with age much, gap relationships. Right. And how how much how much harder would it have been to recuperate our population mm-hmm. numbers if we had sent if half of those were women? It would it probably would have. T- First of all, half of them wouldn't be women, because if half of them were women, we would not have America anymore. <laughs> we would all be slaves in some other land called something else. What is she talking about? And, and what is Brian? Alice, I mean, he's eating popcorn. I mean, the crucible's really rubbing off on him. He's doing his hair like him. He's, 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 he's coming at these, you know, hoes, these 304s. <laughs> he's got millennial Millie, Millie Weaver on trial. <laughs> this is just, this is becoming very interesting. I'm really liking this show. I'm really liking where this is going. A lot of alpha energy happening here, including millennial Millie's because she is a feminist. Okay, she's a feminist. Women with alpha energy, that's a feminist trait. Argumentative alpha females are feminists. How much harder would it have been to recuperate our population numbers if we had sent, if half of those were women? It would, it probably would have taken a lot longer <laughs> to recuperate our population. You would have exactly the amount of men to women, though. No, that's why it makes no sense, right? The, the, the argument falls back on you either way. So either A, women and men go out and they have roughly the same losses. So there's just as many men as there are women. Or B, men go out and a bunch of them die. And now you have less men than are necessary for polygamous relationship with women. You can't have your cake and eat it too here. If you- they wow. Do you see what he did there? You see where he went there? serious points there. So if it was equal and just as many men went to the amount of women, the same amount of each side would be dead, right? So you'd come back with the same amount of women to men. But if you're doing what she's saying, now you're in a polygamous place and that's not really Christian, okay? And But according to her, it is. Because hedonism is everything. Because if that's where, I mean, nuns, this and that. I'm a nun, I'm a, I mean, nothing makes sense, okay? Nothing. You can't have your cake and eat it too here. If they can't defend our nation as a whole and you're depending on men then to defend your nation for you and go out and die, that's why I think they should be able to vote and you shouldn't. Okay, well, you just acknowledged that women could perform non-combat roles. As long as men let them. No, I did. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to let her get away with that. Do you see what you just did? Okay, that's trickery. That's what feminists do. No, that's not what he's saying. That is not what he's saying because, first of all, women, even in non-combat roles, are not as good as it as men. They're not as good as it, at it as men, okay? Period. Men run the military. Hands down. Men run the military. And the military basically keeps us free, right? Those freedoms that we have are given to us by men because they chose to give them to us, just like they chose at some point to give us the right to vote. And that did not happen by God coming down in 1776, telling them to give it to us, Millie. I didn't defeat my own argument. It defeated you yours did. three times here. You just contradicted Let's go through it. your own argument all, we'll earlier. We'll go all you're three just, times. There's no contradiction. You're, you're literally contradicting. There's no contradiction. I was granting your argument for the purpose of destroying it. I showed you, yes, even if we added them as non-combatants, gave you that argument if, to save you from you. Were, if this were Tron, even if you would we have were to, already a million times. Even if we were to grant your argument. He's contradicting himself. What's the contradiction? Give the me contradiction was you just said. Uh-huh. You literally said uh-huh. that women can do non-combatants. No, I said, what if we move them into those roles? Okay, because you know they're capable. No. If you really are a conservative female, and I hope all the men and and females are listening to this, okay? If you're a female and you do consider yourself conservative, you do not have to be smart. You don't have to know anything, really. It's basic. Men are not women. Women cannot be men. Men are stronger than women. Men enforce the laws that were created by men and men allow us to have the freedoms and rights we have. Women have children, okay? Women should be rearing children. Women should not be slores, sleeping around with everyone. Women should be God-fearing. Women should respect their husbands. Women should respect their fathers. Women should respect their mothers. It's pretty basic. You're young, you believe in God, you go to church, you listen to your family, you have values, you have morals, and you 
long for a husband and a family and you want to be a good human being. That's basically it. I have even have suggested <laughs> no, that. If you that's know, why we clarified okay. immediately after by saying, okay. wouldn't men be better in those right. roles? And so you were you're, like, you're yeah, they would, yourself. Andrew. They would be better in those roles. And I was like, yeah, see, I grant everyone's argument for the purpose of no, destroying it twice. No, you're contradicting There's no contradiction. Yourself. See, you want to talk about women, women's rights? Now, take a look. There's two soldiers, one Mexican and one Russian, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. And then there's Madison. Now, the kingpin, okay, I'm talking about on the podcast is Brian Atlas. He's in charge, okay? He's the one running the house. The only one that's allowed to eat popcorn along with him is Madison. That's called female privilege, and I'll take it. <laughs> is that funny or what? No contradiction, point it out. Okay, the contradiction was you suggested that women can fulfill non-combat I roles. I your argument, yes. No, that was your argument. You I, presented that. I said, what if we move them into you non-com roles? You presented that. Rewind. Everyone can rewind. I said, what if we move them into non-com roles? You argument. said, yeah, we could do that. So then I said, but even if we did, wouldn't men be better in that role? You said, yes, absolutely. And I went, well, then that's really not a viable argument either. Would they be better in the role, <laughs> yeah. in a non-combat role? Yes. They would be better in a yes. non-combat role. <laughs> so You're then, right. if we want the most effective military, we want it to be men. Therefore, men are the enforcers. And even if we did move women, all women, into non-combat roles, mm -hmm. they still would not be going out and doing the killing and the dying. So therefore, they still should get the big piece of chicken, the extra question. piece of meat, and the voting rights. Okay, here's... Why would any female ever want to go against what the Crucible just said? Question... Is, is is sitting there behind a desk operating a drone a non-combat role? Is she really going there? Is she really going there? Oh, she made Shadowgate, so she knows everything about AI. I'm sorry. <laughs> Drones, everything. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's classified. It is classified. a non-combat role. Because when you are... Is it? Is yeah, it classified it is. as a non-combat role? I'm not sure. You're sitting. It's not hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay. So, it's not physical combat. So what? That you doesn't can mean it's. You sit behind a desk so what? and you cannot bring in a tank's not hand-to-hand -hand combat either. Boy, she will just try to find anything to win this argument. She will try to find anything to win this argument. This girl is actually sitting here talking about drones, as if that's really all that you know it entails in the military. And 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 she's arguing that point as to women behind drones can do exactly the same thing as men. Well, first of all, let me explain something. Who created the drones? Who created the actual technology for that to even happen? And who creates the strategy? That's Is that a non-combat role? You're in a tank. What You're about an F-16? That's not hand-to-hand. -hand. Well, there are, well, there aren't that many women pilots. It does take a lot of physical right. impact on your body. To be a pilot. Right. So because the best pilots are going to be men. Force. The best tankers are going to be men. The best non combatants are going to be men. And the best combatants are going to be men. We well, want the most powerful military. We know that men are going to enforce your rights. Therefore, men get to vote because they have more stake in the game and you don't. Who had the men what? that are being sent off to die? I mean, she'll just say anything. She's like, Alex, I want you to know right now that you are really ruining my chances to be on Newsmax. Brian, will you handle that and take that popcorn out of your mouth? Because right now, I am really being serious. I We had an agreement. Okay, Brian, I am not supposed to be here on trial as if I'm some sort of feminist. You should, you should get him in control right now because Newsmax is looking at this and I will destroy you. I will make four more shadow gates and it will be all about you and Madison and I will literally destroy you, Brian you whether you wanted to, them to have you or not that's the point of enforcement the point of enforcement is regardless of what women want whatever they claim where they claim oh no we're equal we're ontologically equal we're physically equal we have the same knowledge bases we have all men can just take what they want collectively if men say tomorrow you have no rights you don't okay, have so, any so you're going back to thinking women shouldn't have the right to vote i'm saying to and, you that and, due to enforcement if men say collectively tomorrow you have no rights you don't have any can can do would you like me to point out country after country where this is true it's horrible but i thought they were inherent from god they they are oh they should be but the what you people, meant to people choose to do bad do you see that do you see what he just did to her it's like what I was saying earlier. How could the right to vote or any rights, period, be inherent from God when men are putting them 
in place. The people, only reason the why men so are... I, but I thought that it was inherent. People choose to break from God's will all the time. It's uh-huh. called sin. Okay. It's because he gave us free will. So, so Renee, God, gave you, you God gave you rights and you just ignore them. I was, I was going to ask him. Mm-hmm. All men are enforcers because of the historical trend of men, men being empowered. No, it's because they can literally stomp you to death and there's nothing you can do okay, about true. it. Okay, true. Do you give your stronger. wife any but say we, in decisions in your lived, household? Sometimes. If we lived in an, like, a female... Okay, so your wife has a say. I know you think that's impossible, but if I can pose that hypothetical that we right. live in an all-female government where the women are the ones who enforce the rights is that women can't enforce the rights they would still rely on men to enforce the rights okay let's, so let's if- do, do you understand that even if there was an all-female government there are still males out here in society and they will overtake those women okay now that would be a real insurrection you understand and, and it's not going to take much. Men are physically stronger. What don't you get? He could literally just turn around and smack her and she'd be on the ground. Done. You're not fighting men. Men will take over. There is no such thing as an all-female government. And like I said, even if there was, men could easily take it over at the, with the snap of a finger. If there was an all-female government, it would be because men allowed there to be. So if men, so I'll, I'll explain it. Physically, yes. I'll exp- hang, hang on. Let the me, woman could be a I'm queen to and then the man can no, enforce the rights. Nope. But why can a woman not vote in that <laughs> I'm going to explain it to you so Go that ahead. you know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, because you're a queen now, you're capable of more. What is it, some sort of superpowers that queens get? Is there a superpower that comes with the crown? Explain this to me. What is this, Wonder Woman? Really? This is where these people, these women are literally living in a true fantasy land. They are literally in fantasy land. Let's say you had a 100% powerhouse government of all women. They're mm-hmm. all She-Ra bitches in tight leather who do ninja kicks in men's faces. Problematic. They okay. are mm-hmm. the action movie stars that you have seen. They are the Black Widows, okay? <laughs> Still wouldn't matter because ultimately the enforcement of the population, if they collectively the said, nope. They're gone, and there's nothing they can do about it. But in reverse, it's not true. If men collectively say to women, "We're in charge, and you're not," you couldn't do shit. That's the distinction. But whether or not you're in charge is always going to be based on men allowing you to be in charge because collectively they can take that away. Women could not collectively take it away from them. So your whole argument is men should be able to vote, and women no because men are physically stronger. And men can because, physically overpower them. And that's the definition no, of rights. No, his argument no. is that the reason they should have the right to vote is because they have the inherent like burden. Burden of, of defending the you. The burden is being physically stronger. No. Not just physically yes, it is, stronger. Because if we were physically stronger, then all of this would be reversed. But you're not. Yeah. But, so who cares? Well, you were but just who's telling- this- But you're not. <laughs> it's so funny. So who cares? He's like, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Well, you were but just who's telling- to say that's not just an anatomical argument? That doesn't have any... Wait a second. So, let's assume for a second that it is just an anatomical argument. So what? Are, aren't you losing out on thousands, hunt, mil, billions of women for your economy, for your scientific No. Why, they, those bitches think? can still work. They just can't vote. Those Are they going to wow. want to work if they can't vote? Do we care they what they wanna... want inherently? That's the point. The point I, is, um, if you have the enforcement arm and the enforcement yeah. collective of the enforcement arm, people don't have a choice. You don't get to go, well, then we don't want to work. They go, then why I, we don't care go. if you want to work. Then why... But here's the thing. Backtrack it. Backtrack it. Right now, she's asking, why can women vote? Again, women can vote because men allowed them to. Now, what about what she said earlier about women? Would women work? It's feminist that came out and demanded that women work. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. You feminists asked for this. Women didn't have to work. They were home like Little House on the Prairie, raising the children and taking care of the household, teaching, okay, little schoolhouses when the government wasn't involved. Now y'all got the government all involved and you messed everything up and men are being weaponized. Well, guess what, ladies? One day those men are going to take that all back. And then you're going to see what it's really like to be in you know what? There was a movie called The Village. This is what we're looking at. The Village. Go watch it. It's an amazing movie. M. Night Shyamalan. And people were literally living in those times. Okay? And they they had this like fake wolf that was around. And it scared people from leaving. But outside, it was this. No one knew it except the men, the few men at the top that created this world to keep women in line, to keep their families intact so that their children that were females weren't becoming males and vice versa and so on and so forth. It's going to go back to that. 
It's only a matter of time. Why can women Wait. vote? Then why can women vote? Um, then why can women vote? Because they're allowed to by the benevolent patriarchy. I, I have a question. So and when the benevolent what, patriarchy <laughs> decides to take that away, it's they not, ain't gonna no, vote. No, no, no. It's not benevolency. It's not benevolency. It's it they have to. They don't have to. Yes, they do. Why? Revolution. Female revolution. You think it's not possible? Oh, female revolution? Is she out of her mind? Explain the female revolution to me. Did women get up and like physically fight men for these rights? Or did they yap and yap and yap and yap and yap and men in general feel bad for women? That's why they give them the bigger portions. That's why they say, don't work, honey, just stay home. I'll take care of the family. That's why they work. Did they decide to let them do that? Is she delusional? This is scary. These young women out here that actually believe this rhetoric, I hope that enough of this content gets out to teach them differently because they're in for a rude awakening. And so am I, if these are the people that are going to be in control at some point. This is scary. Female revolution. <laughs> Tell me all about the female were, revolution. They, okay, listen. Not like Where actual, was that? Not like actual Did war. they grab guns and take those patriarchs you down? Look really, you look with their really silly barrels? and emotional right now, oh, girl. Are you savages. on your period? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> he might be... <laughs> Holy shit, this so, is hilarious. But what I was female saying, revolution. Yeah, okay. Like, as in, we stop doing our motherly duties. Mm -hmm. We abort all of our children. Mm -hmm. bah, 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 our if you are literally actually believing this, you're nuts. If men wanted to breed you, they would just breed you. <laughs> you would just literally be in a breeding camp and you would be bred. That's it. You wouldn't even have the capabilities, no know-how or wherewithal to even have an abortion because you would be enslaved. Ourselves. <laughs> Right. We, don't, we don't work. You just coat hang them out, right? Sorry. But but hey, <laughs> the whole here's the big Wait, giant the massive hole in your argument again. Why do you think that you're allowed to do any of those things if the patriarchy says no? But they play chess. They play chess. Mm -hmm. Why would they allow us to if they didn't have to? The only reason why they allow us to do <laughs> things is because they have to. Uh, uh, that's weird. So every move you make on a chess board is because you have to make the move? No, no, no. What no, I'm no, no. Well, yeah, I'm saying if, yeah? if, if they box you, <laughs> if the other person is playing chess and they box you in somehow, you're going to have to move to not get checkmate, she's right? right. With the men, she's and? right. So with that, men would right. take all the power if they could. They, they can. Yeah, they would take away our right which, to vote which, tomorrow which, if they wait, could, wait, but wait, they wait, can't. Which brings no, me to they, the question you have I've been trying to ask called, like 30 minutes. You have what is called <laughs> a benevolent patriarchy well, and because wait, no. the patriarchy is benevolent they don't like to see women uncomfortable okay so they have worked oh, they don't like to see don't. women uncomfortable they have worked tirelessly or, inside of the christian ethic to do everything that they possibly can do all men so that work within the christian women ethic. most men in the inside of the united states did yeah most men okay I have why, a question. why what was your question <laughs> thank you why is it okay so Go aside ahead. everything that how does she think we got here how does she think we got here? Yes, most men did. That's why you want to. You're gonna want to go way back. Look at our. Look at our currency. In God we trust. Come on, you have to know better. I everything that we've been, you know, listening to for the last thirty minutes, which is like reactionary. Why, if men believe this, why are they not then reinforcing this into their house? Because, belief, like she said, belief men, is the key. Yeah, but men in but their own the houses, odds, why are they being cucks to the saying, feminist saying ideology some, and not again, controlling their own house? Saying something is true versus something. No, odd. that's not even what I'm talking about. I'm saying why yeah, are men are. not defending their own beliefs in their own that's home? That's a descriptive claim of is. Them. Why are they is that not a descriptive claim own? of is or is it an ought claim? No, I'm saying why are men not being accountable mm -hmm. in their own houses and leading their women and okay. children to the best way that Let's they see up. fit? The reason for that is because women have used the government for their benefits. In other words, if you have a household and the woman doesn't like what the husband is doing, she'll just go to the government and the government will enforce those rules against him. Get it? Marriage is a weapon and it's in women's hands right now until men decide to take it away from them. Do you understand that? I can try to explain it to you. James that is an is control. claim. When you say, why aren't men doing X? You're talking about what is happening so currently. you Stop ought to talking. tell your wife not to vote. Try, still trying. She, <laughs> she doesn't. I vote. And she oh. votes how I tell her to to double my vote. Now, oh. back to this. What you're, at, what you're asking. And by the way, what he just said, that's not an uncommon thing. 
me, my, 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 my father, you know, my parents, my almost all my friends, mothers, right? The only thing that we do is we vote that what my dad told me to vote. But you're asking that is an is claim, right? It's a descriptive truth of what's happening right now, right? Um, men are not enforcing what they believe right. in their house. Yes. Right. Okay. So that is a descriptive claim. It's not an ought claim. What should happen? Well, they should be enforcing because their just because their you can have a their home. just because you can have a society which can be brainwashed and they can do all sorts of things like oh I don't know have a social contagion like the LGBTQ where Gen Z says now that uh, one in four of them identify as homosexual right you can claim that that's a social contagion. Populations can be bamboozled. They are all the time. But if you look at patriarchal, okay. If you if you talk about patriarch, if you talk about patriarchal nations, though, I can point nation after nation after nation after nation who literally says to women, no rights. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying but that that's the men you who are leader, that's the not men, what I want to do. I'm it's saying, what you just argued for. No, that's not even not that's what not I even argued. what I'm talking okay. about. I'm saying that the men within their own homes are supposed to. Why do you think that women not being? To, do you think that women in this nation were oppressed until they had the right to vote a few years ago? Seriously? Why are we stuck with two? Old wow, that's a good point he's making. That's a good point that he's making. Why are we stuck with two ultra extremes? You they're not realize ultra that, extreme. Yeah, these are ultra no, extremes. I'm still trying to understand. Feminism why we you're just a milk toast fence sitting libertarian. No, milk toast fence sitter and feminism. But we you can we argue don't have to have anything in the yeah, middle. You don't have to just argue that's, yeah. that has common yeah. sense. That's balanced. Hold on. We're gonna allow Andrew and her to have back and forth. Go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, but millennial Millie over here, uh, Millie Weaver is sitting here talking about common sense. Not one bit of common sense has come out of her mouth this entire time we've been reviewing this. Back and forth. Go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, but the milk toast fence center wants to jump in, you know. But it's, it's not milk toast right. fence. It is. It's libertarian it's common milk sense. toast feminism. Okay, most people in America. It's common sense would, in the 1970s when they were burning bras, maybe. If we'll you vote. continue espousing <laughs> these very. Ra Hail to Gloria Steinem. Very radical belief sets that doesn't Milk actually toast really beliefs. align with conservative Republican yes, beliefs. Does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, what's a patriarchy no, it in the Christian ethic? You are going to be turning out more women to go vote for some horrible candidate like Joe Biden. Okay. If it's okay? extreme, let that's me, what you're going to why, be doing. Do you consider Catholicism extreme because it's a patriarchy? Do you consider Orthodoxy extreme because it's a patriarchy? And do you consider most denominational churches extreme because they operate under a patriarchy? What you're pushing for answer is my undue. fucking <laughs> question with Without a question for once are they extreme because they are patriarchists you see how he just acted there answer my question without a question for once he's getting frustrated <laughs> when a, a large swath of men start acting like this to all these women it's over ladies <laughs> that proves it right there answer it's my undue. fucking question without a question for once are they extreme because they are patriarchists no, they're not. No, they're, that's religion. And I'm not saying anything extreme from a Christian standpoint. Next, where does it back say over to you? and <laughs> women don't have the right to vote, though. Cat, the Catholic Church, literally, the doctrine was <laughs> always that you could not have female clergy. That was the doctrine. Same thing with okay. orthodoxy, <laughs> always. Okay, so how? What we? Ha I mean, what is she talking about? Do we have female priests now too? Come on. Everything with her is just an argument for the sake of arguing. We have se separation of church and state, though. So when we're talking oh, you about secularist beliefs, yay! No. Our founders would have loved that. Okay, Can but I just but we ask. Don't First of all, any true Christian would never want a separation from church and state, because if you believe in God, you want to live under those rules. Millie, I have a you know. We, we aren't like the Muslim countries where Sharia law, you know, is dictated has by a question. religion. Our original <laughs> colonies, go ahead. each one of our original colonies had Jesus. a state <laughs> religion. Are, are you aware that at the founding of the United States, all 13 of the colonies, which then became states, had a state religion? Are you aware of that? All of them had a state religion. Okay. Every single one of them. Where's this separation of church and state? Okay, but you're talking about the colonies. You're not talking no, about the post, United States No, post, after the United States was ratified, every oh. single state okay. had a state religion. Okay, well, why do we we have it say separation of church? <laughs> we don't. That's a liberal progressive talking point. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Their secularism is stupid on its face. That's why and they, the, don't allow, <laughs> they, they don't allow religion in the schools. Can I just they, ask? And you're, you're okay with that? No, I, I'm you, not necessarily Well, okay I thought it was. We have but a it's one of the reasons sir? why they don't allow it. How could this woman call herself? a conservative Christian. How? How? 
All she does is argue feminist talking points. So she's fine with them not being able to say God or, or, or say the Pledge of Allegiance or any of this stuff in the schools today, okay, which is a new phenomenon, but she's calling herself a conservative Christian? No, that's a feminist thing. Because of the, the, first of all, because the Supreme Court rules on a thing doesn't mean the thing ought to be true, one, and two, doesn't mean that that was the intention of our founders. Our founders had no intention at all, this becoming a Muslim nation or anything after the Christian nation ever. Ladies and gentlemen, the point of this is that most women in this country that call themselves a trad con is really just a feminist. And, you know, honestly, it's not even really their fault. They've been raised by this. They've been raised to believe this. It's like, you'll call yourself a conservative, a trad con, but the minute their husband does something wrong, they go straight to the government to get that divorce, to get that alimony check, to get that, that, that child support check. It's all about power. So beware of any female that calls themselves a trad con. As far as Millennial Millie is concerned, well, you know, like I said, I wasn't making that up when I said she actually got $170,000 from her fan base to save her from the government that arrested her. Meanwhile, it was all about a argument with her mother and a cell phone. She uses God to push herself into a space that she can profit from. And that, my friends, is awfully sad. I'm Debrava. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.